name is Haley Smith. I'm from El Paso, Texas, and I run a nonprofit called Lifting Hands International. The very first time I heard Arabic, I was in London on a study abroad during college. Just some people walked by, and I heard the language. And I was wondering, what what is that? When I was a senior in college, I went to the public library and picked out a book called Aleph Ba, the Introduction to Arabic Sounds and Letters. I opened it and it was like magic. And I knew from that instant that that's what I wanted to do. If I had an unusual Arabic education, because most of my Arabic education was done in Morocco, just self-study and living with a family, it's really, really trying to learn the dialect. It's really hard. <laughs> so I taught high school Arabic in Boston, and I loved it. My mind started going, how am I going to use the skills I've acquired in this 10 years of learning Arabic? What am I going to do? And just sitting at work all day, I started just hearing a lot more about the Syrian crisis. All the refugees coming to Greece, seeing all the disturbing pictures. I decided I can't just sit here and do nothing when that's happening. So I decided I'm going to Greece. I'm going to help. I don't know how, but I'm going to do it. So I started a nonprofit. The idea behind Lifting Hands is to help people know that we care about them. We're not only going to provide assistance, but empathy and love. Not only holding their hand, but lifting it up. It's quite a challenge to know exactly what camps need when I'm in America. So it's essential that I travel here every few months and talk to people face to face. <laughs> Just being able to interact with people and talk to them, ask them where they're from. Who are you? What do you need now? They tell me what they need now. And then I'm able to go to a store like I did today and buy several items. Please, and four boxes outside, liquid uh, soap. I prefer to buy things directly in Greece because it helps the economy here in Greece. Also, it gets things to refugees really quickly. Yes. Oh, is it so heavy? It's really great to be able to distribute shampoo and soap. And just look into their eyes and just let them know I care about them. That's what matters. To live their life they're living right now is so difficult. I just want to make it a little bit better. Arabic changed my life was the exposure to Arab culture. I immediately loved the culture and the people. I met the most amazing Syrian family. It was just instant friendship. So I'm having to learn a new dialect now. Each dialect is very, very unique. I'm the regime. It's Ramadan. They correct my pronunciation if I got it wrong. And just to have that guidance will help me remember certain words that I have a hard time remembering. So it's a family of five. The dad, Muhammad, the mom is Afaf, and three daughters, Raoud, she's 19, Judy, she's 17, and Shafak, she's 11. They left Syria because a bomb exploded near their car and seriously injured Raoud. She was in the hospital, had to have surgery. They didn't feel safe, and so they decided to leave. It was really hard for them. They miss Syria really bad. They want to get their lives started again. They do not like having their lives on hold. They are in Athens because they're part of a program for vulnerable families. And because of that, they are able to have an apartment with some humble furnishings and just a humble stipend for food. <laughs> In Ramadan, when we'll be in Syria, there must be somebody with you eating, not just you alone, the family. You must be together. Okay. And to have a friend like you or like her with us, that makes us happy. These are the things I wish I could take back to America, is the hospitality and the sweetness and how open they are. Oh, thank you. For Hilly, when she speaks Arabic with us, it's better for us because uh, there is some meaning in Arabic. You can tell her and she knows it from the deep of her heart. 
Can you show your Haley tattoo? Yes. Yeah, tattoo of Haley. <laughs> it says Haley. <laughs> At the end of the day, we've built a friendship based on communication and mutual understanding and mutual respect. And being able to speak Arabic just helps them feel like I understand them even more. And that love and hospitality that they're sharing with me, they can express it through words, not just gestures. Arabic completely changed my life. It's opened so many doors, so many opportunities. I have traveled so much because of it. I have met the most amazing people because of it. You should learn Arabic because it will open opportunities. It will open opportunities for personal growth, building communities. I know it sounds cheesy or idealistic, but it's true. You will be introduced to the most generous, most loving culture. If more people spoke Arabic, things would be a lot better. It's me, Haley, with Bahki My name is Haley Smith, and I speak Arabic. <laughs>